Before I begin this list, I want to give a huge shout out to two new members, Pasquale Nava and Brian Peel. Thank you two so much for your support. It really means the world to us. When you're on death row, you don't get a lot of luxuries in your day-to-day -day life, and for good reason. But many prisons, though not all, are willing to offer up a last meal for the condemned, and some even go out of their way to meet unusual demands. I'm Mike with List25, and here are the 25 strangest last meal requests by death row inmates. Twenty-five. Robert Buell and Victor Fegg were wanted one olive. Let's be honest, your trip down the Green Mile is probably going to be the most philosophical time in your life. And if you're like Robert Buell and his predecessor Victor Fegg were, you're thinking about what you did and what's about to happen, and maybe what you can do tomorrow. Both men, Fegg were in 1963 and Buell in 2002, requested a single black unpitted olive for their final meal. The reason? If they were buried with the olive in their stomach, an olive tree might grow from their remains as a sign of peace. 24. Philip Ray Workman asked to feed the homeless. It was 2007 when Philip Ray Workman was executed for the crime of murdering a police officer as he tried to escape during a robbery. Apparently, having grown a little introspective and thoughtful, Workman made an unusual request for his final meal. He wanted a vegetarian pizza, but not for himself. He asked that prison officials find a local homeless person and give them the pizza instead. The request was denied. When news of his request got out to the media, people responded by purchasing pizzas and having them delivered to local homeless shelters. Hundreds of them were ordered, with at least one woman spending $1,200 to fulfill Workman's request. 23. Timothy McVeigh asked for ice cream. Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh was executed in 2001 after being convicted of killing 168 people and injuring hundreds of others. For his final meal, the notorious bomber chose to not have anything approximating a real meal and instead requested two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. 22. Thomas J. Grasso's meal was ruined. Like many before and after him, Thomas J. Grasso wanted to have a big meal before he moved on from this world. His request was steamed mussels, a Burger King double cheeseburger with a strawberry milkshake, some pumpkin pie, a mango, and a can of SpaghettiOs. Gross. That's a crime right there. It's a bit extravagant, sure, but no more than most other convicts, right? Well, the standout here is that Grasso chose, as some of his final words, to point out that his meal was messed up. He said, quote, please tell the media I did not get my SpaghettiOs. Good. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Because they had given him a 16-ounce can of Franco-American spaghetti with meatballs. That's probably the better option, buddy. SpaghettiOs are gross. Let me know in the comments below if you actually like SpaghettiOs. I can't stand them. And I eat literally anything. 21. Gerald Lee Mitchell went for candy. During the course of a robbery and a subsequent drug deal, Gerald Lee Mitchell murdered one man and shot two more. When he was given the option of ordering a final meal before he was put to death, he chose to eschew the fancy dinner and instead asked for a bag of Jolly Ranchers candies, which he was given. And we all know the best is watermelon. 20. John Connor went all out. Uh, I'm talking about John Wayne Connor, and he wanted to make sure he wasn't hungry when he died. His final order was for 10 pieces of crispy fried catfish, 10 hush puppies on the side, a whole sliced raw onion, two triple deluxe hamburgers, and two pints of vanilla ice cream. I do not have a problem with any of that, in case you're wondering. 19. James Edward Smith had yogurt as a second choice. James Edward Smith's final meal request is an infamous one. The man had plain yogurt itself a little bizarre, but that wasn't what he actually wanted. His final request was not granted by the prison, as they will only those that meet certain requirements, and his was for something called Rekunda Dirt, which he wanted for a voodoo ritual that would help his spirit move on. 18. Dobby Gillis Williams went all in on chocolate. 
It was 1999 when little Michael Estrin was bar mitzvahed and Dobby Gillis Williams was executed by means of lethal injection. Police say Williams confessed to the crime, but no recording was made and his conviction was called into question. Despite that, he was still executed and for his final meal, he asked for ice cream and 12 candy bars. 17. Lawrence Brewer asked for a huge meal. Did you know that if you're on death row in Texas, you don't get a final meal? Instead, you just eat what everyone else eats that day. The reason for this lies squarely on the shoulders of Lawrence Russell Brewer. He's the guy that ruined it for everyone else. Brewer asked for and was given two chicken fried steaks with gravy and onions, a triple patty bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet, a bowl of fried okra, one pound of barbecue meat with half a loaf of white bread, three fajitas, a meat lover's pizza, one pint of bluebell ice cream, peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and three root beers. He ate none of it. How dare you, sir? A state senator learned of the meal and freaked out, requesting the practice end not just because people like Brewer made a mockery of it by not eating, but because their victims were granted no final requests either. 16. Christopher Brooks has junk food. Christopher Brooks met his demise in 2016, but before he went out, he decided to keep things fairly light and arguably unfulfilling. Instead of a meal, he asked for two peanut butter cups and a Dr. Pepper. I guess you should call that one a last snack. 15. Gary Carl Simmons Jr. had enough calories for 15 days. In 2012, Gary Carl Simmons Jr. was executed for the crime of murdering and dismembering a man, among other things. When his time finally came, it seems like he was hoping to kill himself with his final meal before the state could do him in. He ordered a Pizza Hut Super Supreme deep dish pizza, plus a regular with three cheeses, olives, bell peppers, tomato, garlic, and Italian sausage. Then he had 10 eight ounce packs of Parmesan cheese, 10 eight ounce packs of ranch dressing, one family sized bag of nacho cheese Doritos with eight ounces of jalapeno nacho cheese, four ounces of sliced jalapenos, two large strawberry shakes, two bottles of cherry Coke, one supersized order of McDonald's fries. Oh, I miss those with extra ketchup and mayonnaise and two pints of strawberry ice cream. That all clocks in, in just under 29,000 calories. Also fun fact, there is a dessert at Beaches and Cream at Disney called the Kitchen Sink. It's Walt Disney World for those that need to know. It's supposed to be eaten by multiple people. Uh, just look up the Kitchen Sink. Beaches and Cream, 27,000 calories. Have fun. 14. John Wayne Gacy had a bucket of KFC. One of the most terrifying serial killers of all time and responsible in no small part for the modern fascination with evil clowns, John Wayne Gacy was executed in 1994 for the murders of at least 33 young men. Gacy's final meal was a whopper of grease and salt consisting of 12 fried shrimp and a bucket of 21 pieces of original recipe KFC with French fries. But you know, to keep things healthy, he also requested a pound of strawberries. When he was still free, Gacy was actually a KFC manager, so apparently he was just a loyal brand guy. 13. Eileen Warnos just wanted a coffee. Charlize Theron helped make serial killer Eileen Warnos famous with the movie Monster. In real life, Warnos was executed by means of lethal injection in 2002. She opted out of having a final meal and instead just had a single cup of coffee to see her off. She took it black, bitter till the very end. 12. Robert Harris had a feast. In 1992, Robert Harris met the gas chamber at San Quentin Prison after being convicted in 1979. His final meal request reflected all those years he spent waiting for his own death. He had two large Domino's pizzas, a bucket of KFC, and some ice cream. It's also been said that he had a bag of jelly beans and a pack of Camel cigarettes. 11. Jeffrey Barney had cereal. Not everyone takes their last meal request all that seriously. Jeffrey Barney spent four years on death row before his execution for the crime of murder. When his time came, he opted to order two full boxes of Frosted Flakes cereal and a pint of milk. Two boxes of cereal and a pint of milk. Seems like that ratio is a little off. 10. 
Odell Barnes asked for world peace. Odell Barnes was executed back in the year 2000, convicted of an incredibly brutal murder. There was apparently a good deal of substantial evidence that he may have been innocent of his crime as well, but the case was never fully pursued, and Barnes was executed anyway. His final request was not for food, but for justice, equality, and world peace. If he was guilty, that's a real perplexing way to go out. If he was innocent, then it's very sad. Nine. James Henry tried something new. If you're only getting to eat once more in your entire life, you may as well try something new. That must have been the thinking of James Henry, who decided to try a dozen raw oysters for the first time, and the last time. He ate all 12, and the warden asked if he wanted more, which he declined. Eight, James Russell kept it simple. James Russell, a musician before he decided to try his hand at kidnapping and murder, among other crimes, kept it simple when he was on his way to the chamber to die. He requested one single apple for his final meal. 7. Peter J. Miniel ate enough food for an army. Peter J. Miniel was executed in 2004 for committing a brutal murder. When it came time to eat his final meal, he clearly didn't want to leave it to chance that he might die hungry so he ordered enough food to feed an entire family. His meal included 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a jalapeno pizza, fried chicken, salted spaghetti, I don't know what that is, half of a chocolate cake and half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, a fruit cake, gross, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two orange juices. That is a lot of conflicting stuff there, buddy. Oh. 6. William Bonin drank a lot of soda. William Bonin, the freeway killer, was a straight-up monster who killed 21 young men and boys. When he was finally executed, his last meal request was just as weird as you'd expect from someone clearly so deranged. Officials brought him two large pepperoni and sausage pizzas, three pints of coffee ice cream, and three six-packs of Coca-Cola. It is unknown if he got through all 18 of them. 5. John Spenkelink went out with a shot. John Arthur Spenkelink was executed back in 1979. Whatever he may have eaten for his last meal, official or otherwise, doesn't actually seem to be known. That said, we do know the last thing he consumed, and that was two shots of straight Jack Daniels that he had shared with the prison superintendent. The execution was considered somewhat controversial as Spenkelink was widely believed to have committed his crimes in self-defense, and that may be why the superintendent chose to share a drink. 4. Josvanes Valle liked it well done. At first glance, the last meal of Josvanes Valle isn't all that odd. He wanted burgers, fries, and rice. Carb-heavy? Sure. But what does he have to lose? But he added the unusual distinction that he wanted all four of his burgers almost burned, his fries almost burned, and his rice almost burned. He also had jalapeno, onion, tomato, and cheese. 3. Benjamin Cole has a religious meal. Benjamin Cole was in prison for a heinous murder, and his lawyers tried to get leniency on the grounds he was mentally ill. It didn't work, and he was executed in 2022. His last meal request was for what the prison called a religious meal. It consisted of vegetable lasagna, a tortilla, a salad, and a fruit drink pack. Not really sure what religion that's from, but that was it. 2. Edmund Zagorski went full pork. Sometimes you just crave the taste of food that's maybe considered a little embarrassing and other people might, you know, turn their nose about it, like peanut butter and pickles or egg salad. Or if you're double murderer Edmund Zagorski with nothing left to lose before your execution, you go for some pickled pig's knuckles and pigtail. 1. A Jewish convict broke kosher. There's something to be said for acknowledging the finality of it all when it comes to your last meal. There's a story about a Jewish convict at San Quentin who ordered a kosher meal for his last meal, and then, at the end, asked for a single ham sandwich, which would be his first and last experience trying pork. So, what would you have for your last meal? Let us know in the comments below.
And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, including our shorts. Sometimes people just want little bite-sized versions of List 25, or as I have nicknamed them, Bite 25, because I can. <laughs> also, uh, please think of becoming a member. Uh, it really helps us, like the ones I shouted out earlier. Thank you two again so much. It really means the world to us, helps keep us going, and helps keep us bringing all this awesome, fun content to you guys. Fun and educational edutainment. Wait, wait, I did that wrong. Educational and entertainment edutainment. Also, uh, look at joining our Discord. We're trying to build a little community there. So come say hello. We, I talk, and so do other people. So, you know, uh, that's it. I'm rambling. So as always, see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.